Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons Late Night. I'm Landros and here we are uh, at 7.30 in the morning on a Friday. So of course they got school and work and everything coming up today. But um, got the kids up. Let's see, let me see what Ian needs because he's done. Looks like he's ready just to head on out. Well, he doesn't really need a whole lot. So I'm going to have him go ahead and play with blocks. And then uh, Kyle, you're going to come over here since it looks like you're done too. Why don't you go ahead and make a plate of, let's make some cookies. Let's make chocolate cookies. Yeah, he's excited about that. Okay, and then of course somebody looks like, oh, looks like you're not going to make cookies after all. You're going to go ahead and go on to school. So let's get downstairs and go to school. Hang on. Come on, guys. You got to go. Stop playing with the blocks. Yeah, and I meant to change it. But you know what? They're close. They're fine. They're okay. Um, Ian, you're not skipping. You're going to school. Why does it say three days and one hour? I don't get that. Is it a snow day or something? What happened? Oh, you got sick. Why did he get sick? Oh. So, Ian, you are sick. Hi, right, Ian. You're going to go over here. You're going to discover potions today. If you're going to be sick, you're going to be really sick. Come on over. Do what you got to do. And then he's going to come over there. He's going to school. He's going to meet some new friends, which is fine with me. Um, Let's see. Ian... Other than that, you do need to discover a potion, so you're doing exactly what you need to do. And then you want to win a game of hopscotch and get on the honor roll. Well, you are on the honor roll, or you should be at least. So hopefully this will actually get you get you a couple of your wishes done today. Okay, as for mom and dad, at least um, everything is good for you for your job except your mood. So we got to work on that. Let's see. You need to go to the bathroom. You need to take your shower, and we definitely need to make sure you eat something before you go. Um, all these things sound good to me, but they aren't good to her. Let's go ahead and have the autumn salad. That way you have something before you go. Then, Josh, we got to worry about you as well. Um, Josh, oh, who's going to be up first? I'm wondering. Hopefully, Elise is going to sleep for a little bit longer. Yes, yeah, she is. Josh, you don't need the bathroom, but you do just need to go take a shower real quick. So why don't you go ahead and get on up and do that? I'm gonna try to hope, or I'm gonna hope that at least stays in the bed for just a little bit longer, so that you can get out of the bathroom. When you're done, you should be able. To, oh no 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 no! You don't want to discover a potion. Oh, I think I had that set up for you to do later. Um, you can, yeah, actually, you can have the caramel brownie. That's fine. Get yourself cleaned up because you are smelly as can be. At least, please don't get up yet. Oh no, she's got some time, so she'll be uh, she'll be sleeping for a while. Um. Well, uh, let's see. Did I have him listen? No, I didn't have him listening to the tab cast, but that's good. Perfect timing. Let's see. Do you have... Listen to your logic one. And then when you get that done, you're going to actually start discovering another one. This is your day today. So I hope you enjoyed staying home. This way you can pay, maybe learn these um, sleeping elixirs that we need. Come on, Josh. Get out of the shower. Um, I don't know if we paid the bills or not. I think we did. I'm going to just go double check real quick. Let's see. Yep. Oh, no, wait. It's got to be an adult. No, we didn't pay the bills. So, Josh, when you get done, you can go ahead and you can pay the bills. And we're going to go back upstairs. Come on, Lee, uh, Ian. Get up there and find another potion. Hopefully you'll find the sleeping elixir pretty quick, and then we'll be good to go. Now, I think Josh knows the most of them, if I'm not mistaken. I think he knows more than everybody else. I don't I could be wrong. Maybe he doesn't know any of them. I guess he doesn't. Maybe Kyle's the one who knows more. What, what? How many does he know? He knows one. All right, so Ian, you don't have a whole lot to worry about because you both are even now. Elise, come on. Seriously, you're going to sleep all day? Look at you. Well, she should be getting up any second. That's fine. All right, Ian, you're up to level five of logic. That's good. Are you still listening to your tab cast, though? That would be the big deal. No, you're, you're finished with it. So I ought to actually stop you real quick. Let you go ahead and listen to it again. All right, let's go ahead and stop you now. This way you can at least try to get this bumped up. At least I guess you did want to eat first. Well, you know what? That's fine. I mean, cancel that one out then. Come on, Ian. Yeah, I think the first tab cast of Logic is really, really short. So you just have to watch them. Yeah, he really is sick. I didn't know they could stay home when they got sick. I mean, that they would stay home without me telling them to stay home. I thought you had to call in for them. 
Alright, Elise. Are you going to cook when you've got food in there? I guess you weren't really ready for salad. And the maid is here, which is fine. Josh, are you paying bills? Oh, please tell me you paid the bills. Oh, you did. Well, Josh, while you're down here, why don't you go ahead and... If you're going to play with that thing, let's go ahead and listen to something that's going to give you a heads up or give you a, a, a better start on your job. Listen to the writing tab cast, and then you can... What else do you want to do? Mm, bounce on a trampoline. All these things we could have done yesterday at the park, but we didn't. Whose car is that for? That's Elise. Elise, are you going to work already? You go to work, work in one hour. Josh, you've got time off, so you don't have to worry about anything. Poor Elise. If you would have listened to me, you still wouldn't have gotten to eat. But that's all right. You go ahead. If you're late, you're late. Um, I hate it. Now, we're going to have to go ahead and stop you on all this. We're going to have to let you go ahead and go. You better hurry. I should have something in your inventory. That's a pumpkin seed. You can't really eat that. That just stinks. That really, really stinks. Because you're making some really good pancakes. you got to go. All right, now that you're done, hopefully you can eat them and go, but I don't think you can. You're going to be late. All right, so you're going to stay home and eat. Go ahead and eat. Let's see. Yep, you are missing work, so you're going to have to work hard. you got to make up for this, because look at this. You are killing me. You're killing me, Elise. Go ahead, finish up and go. Go to work, go to work, go to work. At least you're no longer you're no longer actually in the red, so that's good. Okay. Josh, why don't you go over here and work on your writing skill because you really need to get that going. Let's go ahead and let me get the one that you can write that will be drama novel. Drama's gonna take a while. The reason I'm doing this for Josh is because as a, a director, he has to have the writing skill if he wants to advance. And that's the only way he's gonna do it, so by practicing and by listening to the tab cast. Now, I could have him listening to the tabcast while he's doing it. I think he can. In fact, I guess I should. Uh, yeah, go ahead, and you're going to start that book. But I'm going to actually do this so we can double it up. So listen to writing. And then you can go ahead and continue your writing. Okay, and that way you're doing two things at the same time. At least I hope you are. And unless it cancels you out. Nope, he's got six hours of listening and he's going to be working at the same time, so this is good. Okay, Elise, you're actually working hard. Let's see how that's going to help. Yeah, you should be able to get a raise today, which would actually put you at a level six. And if you work hard, you can get it. What's this? Oh, you want to get to know Chauncey? Or is that Chauncey? Who is that? I don't know who that is. Oh, that's Chauncey from um, Moonlight Falls. That's not, that's not the same guy. Okay, he's actually doing pretty good. His mood is getting pretty bad. Or not bad, but it's kind of going down. That's okay. Oh, we got a new friend request. Let's go take a look. Uh, MJ Miller, 1973. Yes, I want to be your friend. Here we go. There you go. I feel all good. I have a new friend. Okay. Oh, here's the cart. We can go down. And, is that the cart you can eat at? I think it would have to be an adult. We never do that. So when he gets hungry, which will be not for a while, we'll go down and buy food from the cart. Because I never do that. Um, there you go, Ian. Way to go. What did you make? Hopefully it was something we need. Uh, radical repair him. Well, that'll work. Go ahead and discover a new one. Who is that? That better not be Kyle. He's on his way home. Okay, when he gets home, he can do his homework and... I don't know what else he needs to do. Oh, it's a full moon tonight, so that's good. And I guess the kids can't buy from the carts. If they could, it'd be easier, but no, they can't. And is there anything downstairs that we can do? Oh, wait, that's somebody else's house. Yeah, that's the apartment that nobody lives in, I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was one that nobody lived at. That's the one that somebody lives at. Actually, it's got to be adults dealing with this. Yeah, there's nobody here. That's... I don't think there is. Okay, so we learned bladder flow. Um, are you still listening to your tabcast? Of course not. So we're going to go ahead and listen to that. Get you going on this one. And then you can dis discover one more. He needs to go home. That's fine. You go ahead and go on home. Wow, he's gotten up to level 6. That's pretty good. Now, when he gets home, 
get upstairs and then you're gonna do your homework real quick and then I got something to work on with you at least you're gonna actually go out tonight I think where do you want to go you want to fall in love with Tristan Wow do we really want to do that we could all right well we're gonna actually take her out I believe because I oh, don't know she needs to come home and take a shower so you got to come home and get this done and is this guy actually out here we can actually see him pretty quick no so we'll go back over and we'll wait till, till she gets home when she gets cleaned up then we'll take her out all right Josh it's gonna be a while for you which is good that's the whole point is to keep you busy Ian yeah this is your this is your time to I wish you would learn that stupid sleeping elixir one. Oh, this would be the one if you could learn this one I'd be very very happy let me go ahead and speed you up a little bit okay Kyle you're done then you get over here and you can start baking oh man go ahead and make those cookies you're gonna make this morning while Ian goes and takes a shower and you might as well actually tell you what let's use the bathroom first then you can take your shower this way we can get him working on his cooking skill and hopefully he'll actually level up and have a higher skill when he gets to be an adult we could be selling these which we've done that once and I found out yes you have to read the newspaper but it has to be the kids reading the newspaper not the adults which makes a big difference and if I would have thought about it for a second it probably would have come to me eventually but thank you for the reminder I just had no idea okay he's still taking his shower good finish up take it faster Is something wrong with the toilet I think it's clogged okay good now he can actually come over here no not you he can come over here and he can discover one okay Josh are you hungry no but you do need to use the bathroom so let's go ahead and let you do that and I'm gonna take you downstairs to that card anyway just because we never go wow he's up to level seven of writing that's impressive is he still listening to a tabcast yes he is she ought to be listening when she gets out of here to um, charisma but I'm gonna have her come over here and take a shower did you get your raise please tell me okay she's definitely going into the actor branch so that means she got her raise fantastic so let's see she is now a TV actress making a bonus she got a bonus of 780 she now makes a hundred an hour she works from two to seven well you go ahead and get on home and get cleaned up and then did you finish making yours yes you did why don't you go ahead and make some more bake some more brownies this time make more caramel ones and I'll put these away for you okay I'll come back in and check on you make sure you didn't blow yourself up again but we're gonna go with Joshua and we're gonna take a look at this um, food cart we could take Elise with us but she just needs to go get a shower she was kind of she was actually full and he's really not that hungry either but since it's there we might as well go ahead and take a look can't you just walk behind are you gonna have to take your car you gotta be kidding me you couldn't just walk well alright if that's what you want to do it's not like it was that far and good it's still there okay now it's just basically like anything else it's just um, a little walk-up place so you can just buy food kinda like the concession stand at the festival but I never use it they came with late night so if you have late night it moves around so you'll get it in different places oh taco have a taco and he's got a place to sit and everything so that's pretty good but usually when you see these little spots on the ground you'll see that that's where it's gonna end up at or it should but I don't know not always okay at least you're gonna be finished with your shower and then I'm gonna take you out because the kids everybody else can take care of themselves we've gone to most all of these we went to the prosper room and I think what we need to do is we need to go to another different type of bar we're gonna go to the plasma and you might as well take your brother with you oh you can't take them uh, let's go ahead and go here and we'll take Josh on his own Josh yeah you can answer your phone if you really want to but you're gonna go ahead and, ahead and visit the plasma and we'll go with Josh since he's already up and ready to go now the plasma is a vampire bar and it's cheap drinks so we're gonna go ahead and head on over oh wow we didn't have to pay that was pretty cool alright the place is packed with a whole lot of nothing oh okay since that was on the lot of that other bar then we were getting all the indications for that one well that's not the one we're going to okay now this one I believe if I'm not mistaken is an underground I don't think so there is an underground portion but the underground is I'll show you real quick up oh, I went down 
the underground is just a vampire layer down here. So you can actually bring them down here, and all it is is two vampire beds. There's not a whole lot else to it. At least I don't think there is. And then over here you got the stairs which take you up to the outside area over here, which is going to take you over here to a nice little graveyard where you can mourn. And I don't know if there's anything. There's a lot of graves. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, but here we are at the Vampire Lounge. Being a five-star celebrity, he's okay. He's going to go ahead and... Why don't you go ahead and start? Can you, can you join her? Take a break. Tell her to take a break. And then you go ahead and start a jam session. Oh, well, lady, there's food. Go eat. Who are you? Bianca Rubble. Okay. Is she going to leave? Why don't you see if, she's, if she can start joining you? Uh, ask her to join. Go ahead. Okay, there's Richie Stryker. Ask him if he'll join. Um, and what about this guy, the werewolf guy? No, that's maybe somebody for Elise. Well, Richie, you don't have to join us, I guess. At least, what are you going to do? You going to watch your brother play? When did Richie become a werewolf? Has he always been a werewolf? Oh, the poor guy needed to eat. At least, why don't you why don't you have him take a break so he can eat something? At least, um, of course, there's some there's an urn here. So if you want to actually look at the remains, I don't think you can mourn or anything, but that's all it is. Um, but you can go ahead and go upstairs, and there's a chest set. There is a bar that you can go over here and eat. She doesn't really need anything. Um, I believe this is already in there, if I'm not mistaken, or did I put it? I don't think I put it in there. But you can actually join this game if you want. I think that's Bo Merrick. Yeah. And then that's really all there is for this floor. Just a couple of chairs. Really nothing nothing that much here in this bar. That's why I normally don't come to it because it doesn't have a whole lot. Um, who is this? Tom Bajou? Okay, and bust around. Oh, they don't like him? What's wrong with Richie Stryker? I like Richie Stryker. I don't know Richie Stryker, but it's okay. Um, why don't you ask Richie to join you this time? Is he going to do it now? No, he's just going to watch you. Okay, well, that's fine. If he's going to watch, just let him watch. Okay, you can actually level up your level up your skills, and that's fine. Now, the only good part, or the, the better part about this bar is, of course, outside. You can come out here. You can sit. You've got the telescope you can look at. And I don't think it has anything else like a hot tub. But, you know, you do have this outside area for the, for the people to come to. Um, unfortunately, it does not have anything like a hot tub, which would have been nice. You could put one in if you really wanted to. But we already have a, a hot tub on one of the clubs, so I'm not going to really worry too much about it. And if you go upstairs and take a look, there's no way to come out on the upstairs. But that's basically what it looks like from outside with all the walls rolled up. And you can see it on the other side. It's basically the same. All one big look. Okay. So if if we want to go back in, see what they're doing. Okay. Now, did people leave? What's he doing? Why is he leaving? Why don't you make him come over? If he's not going to watch, have him join. Um can't. I thought you could. Okay, and he's going to watch you now. You should be able to actually ask him to join if you want. Yeah, it's right there. But if they're going to watch you, that's fine, because that's the same thing. It does exactly what we wanted to do. And we really need to work on um, their relationship. No, 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 no. You're not leaving. Where are you going? Don't get to know him. Go watch your brother. Because this will help you with your relationship with him, because you guys really should be a lot further ahead. Is that Tristan? Yeah, and Tristan is... Oh, he's got a partner. That's right. We should have invited him out. Let's go invite him out. Go ahead. Let's let's be a troublemaker tonight. Come on. Of course, this bar is probably going to be closed by the time he gets here. But that's all right. Even if it is, choose a destination. Well, we're coming to our place, so we're here. All right. At least we're yet. See if he'll show up. He might. He might not. Sure. All right. So, wonder what he's going to tell his partner. He probably doesn't live with her. Now, this one, I'm going to be bad. I'm actually going to encourage it, So, which I normally don't do. Well, actually, I take that back. I do. I do it all the time. So, But that's, that's the whole fun of it. 
You can do all kinds of things that you wouldn't do in real life, but let's see if this guy's here yet. Who is she? I don't know who she is. That's Cressida Wells. Josh, did we get rid of that wish? Nope. you got to become best friends with her. Well, hopefully if she starts watching you, you guys will be friends. What are you doing? You want to meet up with who? I don't know who you're meeting up with. All right, go ahead and continue. We're waiting on Tristan. Tristan, how long is it going to take you to get here? Oh, looks like there's some... Oh, wow, he found out how to make the sleeping elixir poster. Ian, you are incredible. You're hungry, you're going to go eat, and then you need to go to bed. So I'm going to let you guys take care of yourselves. You're fine. It's late. He ought to actually use that sleeping elixir. Nah, I'm not going to use it. I want to, but I'm not going to. All right, let's go back over to her. At least is your boy over here yet? Apparently not. Okay, I don't see him here. That's not him. That's Buster. Okay, it looked like the elevator was coming, but it could be. It could be this guy. Nope, he's not here. Let's see if he's downstairs waiting. No, there's an old woman coming. Lady Cook. And who is this guy? Jeffrey Cook and a zombie. All right, well, where's our guy? Where's Tristan at? All right, it looks like you got stood up at least. You really did. Now, you could go after Tom if you wanted to. But, you know, the whole point was to actually do something with this guy. I guess we're getting thrown out of here. Is it time? Yeah, I think it's actually time to go. We ought to head on out. Come on, Josh. It's time to go. This bar closes down at 2, and by the time he gets up here, we're all going to get thrown out anyway. I'll go downstairs and see if he showed up. I don't think he did. I think he just stood us up. That's really cr Is that him? No, it's Jeffrey still. All right, well, Tristan, we waited. We waited on you for about an hour. No matter where you were, it should have got you should have gotten here by now. So now we're just going to head on to the house. Now watch, he'll show up once she leaves. Which is more than likely, but that's okay. Josh, I hope you're actually moving. Oh, we're going to go. Ah, don't want to leave. There you are. I was going to say, you should be getting out of there pretty quick. I just want to see if that Tristan guy would show up. Where are you guys going back in there? They're not, they're not staying open. In fact, they should have just closed. Okay, is this the guy? No, I have no idea. Hmm... Nope, didn't know. I think it was Jeffrey Cook still. I don't think we lived that far from it, but yeah, probably far enough to drive. Yeah, definitely far enough to drive. Okay, so anyway, we'll go back home, and I'm going to get them to go to bed. Josh, do you have to do it? He's actually not working tomorrow, is he? No, he's not working at all. So tell you what, we're going to go back upstairs, and I'm going to have Josh work on finding another potion, because he hasn't found any. If he could do it, it'd be great too, but because he could stay up and he could do what he has to do, and that would be nice. At least, why aren't you in bed? Because you're eating. Well, look at your mood. Everything is just outstanding here. You actually have, you have everything in, in order, but that's good. Because tomorrow, when you actually go in, hopefully we'll make you work hard. Actually, you're off for the next two days, so that stinks. But that's okay. If we can keep all this going, then we'll be good. All right. Josh, go ahead and do what you got to do, and then Elise, I think your needs are, yeah, you're kind of tired, but not too bad, so I might as well have you just go ahead and go to sleep. That's Josh's bed. Go ahead and go to sleep. Josh, I'm going to let you do this for a little while until you can actually discover something. Let me go ahead. If you don't, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably, well, actually, you don't have to get up anytime tomorrow, so you can stay up late, so I'm just let you keep going until you find one. Then I'll let you go to bed. Or at least I'll let you go until you get a couple of points, or either two skill level points or a potion. Whichever one comes first. Uh, it looks like it's going to be two skill level points, which probably won't last. It's too late. All right, tell you what, Ian, give your dad, uh, yeah, give your dad the potion because he's going to need it. Let's just put it right here. Josh, drink this thing, because otherwise you will never, you will never actually get up tomorrow. You'll be up all day or all night. Now then, when Ian gets up, which will be a while, we can have him working on something too, but he really needs to just take care of his needs. So we'll have him use that, take a shower, and then he needs to eat before school. 
Lemon pancakes. I didn't, when did we make those? Um, I'll just get up here and do this. Take a shower. You go eat something too. Um, hmm. Have the lemon pancakes, why not? Oh yeah, that's what she was making yesterday. Hello. Okay, now you notice that Josh actually took the potion and he's sleeping, but you'll notice that his uh, energy is it's moving much more faster. It's moving very rapidly. So he won't sleep as long as it says. It says 2.30, but I guarantee you he'll be up probably by 10, 10.30 or 11. So it will take him much less time. Maybe even before that, I don't know. Okay, Ian, you need to get up. You're not going to make it to school. Let's see, what time does the bus come? It comes at 8, so we ought to actually get you up pretty quick. But the first thing I have you doing is going to the bathroom, and he's already in there. So once he gets out, I'll get you up, and then you can do it. Because otherwise, and your energy's not that bad. It says you're going to sleep till 10. I don't think so. Unless you're still sick and staying home, which I don't think you are. So go ahead and get up. And yeah, it's early, and if you have enough time, you can make another sleeping elixir potion, which is $90. We don't have a whole lot of money, but we got enough to cover that. Okay, okay, he just got his logic skill up. Yeah, for some reason, I was thinking Josh had been doing this a while, but I guess not. And we got a mess over there. I can see it all over there, but the maid is coming, so the maid can actually earn their money. It's not like we have a whole lot for them to do, but at least we don't have to worry about it. Okay, Josh... Now this still says you're sleeping until 2.30, but you're not going to do that. You're going to get up pretty early. So I'm going to go ahead. It's almost Kyle's birthday, which means it's almost Ian's birthday, and it is Elise's birthday. Fantastic, Elise. Wow. Didn't know you were getting that old. It's okay. Somebody's got to get up. Okay, Kyle, why don't you do something else? Tell you what. You can listen to something. What can you listen to that's different? Fishing, logic, or writing? Let's go ahead and do the logic. So you've got to, uh, you've got to push the potions as well. Once Ian's done, I'm going to work on you doing the same thing, which is why I wish I kind of had two of these, because we don't have a whole lot of time. they got two days until they're teenagers. But once he's a teen, he can still work on this. In fact, that'll be no big deal. All right. So then while you're doing that, listening to it, why don't you play with the blocks? That's going to help your handy handiness skill. He's going to work on eating. Josh, okay, now look at the time. It's only, it's not even 8 o'clock, and he's now up, and he is fully rested. So you got to love that sleeping elixir potion. To me, that's the best thing you could have had. All right, go ahead, and you take your shower. Don't worry about cleaning it. And then you can have some of those pancakes as well. Okay, I have another friend request. Okay, let's go take a look. Mm, oh, wow, we got a lot. No, this is just our, our wall. I never come to look at this thing. Okay. Let's see. La, na, na. Friends. Okay, I thought it said a friend request. That's gifts. I don't have any gifts right now. Okay, not going to worry about that. I already did that. Kyle's up to level 5. That's pretty good. The bus will be coming. Actually, the bus should be coming pretty soon. Oh, wait. It's Saturday. You don't go to school. Idiot. All right, so completely my fault. At least, what do you need to do to get yourself ready for the day? Um, you don't really need to. Do, well, I was going to say you can make the bed, but you really don't need to. Answer the phone, see who's calling you. Josh, you need to take a shower, right? Uh, it's this is Emmy Star. Do you want to hang out? No. No, I don't think so. We're going to go out together as a family. Okay. And since it's Saturday, I guess the only thing we can do. Well, we've been to the summer festival, we did that as a family. And then we also went over to that park that I had made. And we've been to a lot of these places as a family. But is there any place we want to go back? And I'm thinking that we might want to put something. Let me see. Do I want to put something in the town? I could. Where's a place that we could all go and enjoy? Let's see. We've got to go to a game sometime today. And I believe one of them has that wish. He does. He's got to go here. Not for that one. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. So at 11 o'clock, we can take him out to the game. So I'll actually have um, Kyle and his mom go to the game. So that'll be fine. So Kyle and Elise, you guys have a plan for today. Ian, you're working. Josh, once you get out of there, you're going to actually go over here, and you're going to continue writing for a little bit. Um, Elise, what are you doing? 
You're going to read The Mummy in Love. No, you actually ought to read something or do your uh, charisma thing. So let's go ahead and listen to that. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you have enough friends for that or not. We're going to find out real quick, though. Okay. All right, actually, now you need to stop because now I need to get you taken care of. Okay, go ahead and use this, and then you can actually take a shower. It's not quite time for us to go yet, but that's good. Ian, keep finding them. It really doesn't matter if you find the rest of them. I ought to stop you because the main one I really wanted you to find was the sleeping elixir, but I'm going to let you work on it as a child. I'll let Kyle work on it as a teen. And Josh, you're just going to have to work on it whenever you can. So hopefully these guys, the maid's going to come take care of all this garbage. It doesn't look like he wants to do anything right now. Kyle... We're waiting until 11 o'clock. By the time we actually get you guys over, it's probably going to be time to go. Um, at least, do you need anything? You want to have a brownie or something? Yeah, have a brownie. Why not? I would. And then when you guys are done with that, I'll send you out. Mm, visit with Kyle. Josh, does, did Ian get that wish at all? No, Ian doesn't have any opportunities. I mean, it's not like we couldn't take him. But, let's see. That's the Brightmore. There is a movie that's on at 12. So we could actually take him over there. Why don't you go ahead and you can tour the theater with Ian. Well, actually, yeah, tour it with Ian. Keep you guys, keep your relationship as strong as we can. So that'll give you something to work on. But we're going to wait until a little bit closer. Come on now, guys. All right. Kyle, you got to go because it is time to go. And once we get there, I'm going to cancel him out, and I'm going to have him go ahead and just go to the game. But I think he has to go separately. He can't go with her. Otherwise, it doesn't count. So, yeah. Now he can attend the free game. So he's going on his own. She's going over there with him. Tell you what, I'm going to have her just attend the game on her own. That way, at least they're at the same place together. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there is no game. So you can't go. All right, so you stay home. <laughs> you don't get to go anywhere. You go on upstairs. Kyle, you go on to the game by yourself. Josh, you're going to actually go this time. Ah, We're going to go instead with your sister and with your son. And that way, the three of you can actually build up your relationship. Let's go ahead. We're going to attend or tour the theater with Elise and Ian. Okay, go ahead and get off of that. You stop discovering. Where am I at? Why do I keep hitting the wrong thing? Okay, that should have canceled him out and he should be on his way. And somebody can turn the radio off. Okay, go ahead. Let's see, ask her about her day. No, you guys are supposed to be leaving. Don't wash all the, all the dishes. You guys have a maid. He's here. Let him do his job. Okay, are you going? Good. Oh, man, the things you have to do just to get them to go do what you want them to to do. It's crazy. It looks like the party is somewhere else tonight. Well, okay, he must have gotten off of one of the um, substations somewhere. And that's fine. He can go on the subway down to the um, to the Coliseum. In fact, we got to make sure he made it there, because otherwise you never know. Okay, he just now made it there. Go on in. Get your credit for this. Attend the Amateur Olympics for a chance to win money. Okay, you're already here for it. So why don't you go ahead and when you get when you get done you can compete so there you go you got your day planned and hopefully hopefully you'll get both of those and we'll get a little bit of money out of this whole deal alright so let's see did Josh, Elise and Ian make it to the movies probably let's just make sure oh they're gonna have to drive you live right on the other side you should just be able to walk of course you can't of course you can't come on who are we waiting on nobody Okay, now they really ought to have the movies going at different times throughout the day. It seems like it's only like one showing for the entire day. But I want to stop you guys. Go ahead and stop. Stop him. And you stop. What I really want you to do is actually go to the movie. This way it'll just give you something fun to do. You did something there. And then when you're done, you can tour it. Now you'll wait till you get out. 
because right now it's not going to recognize everybody. Okay. Okay, I don't know where that is. I can't tell from it's too small of a picture. All right. Sometimes I like to see what uh, the other places people are playing. I like to see what games that they're in or what towns they're in. All right. Okay, am I frozen? Yes, I was frozen. Okay, so at least you didn't have to pay 30. You only paid 20. And Josh, you probably paid the full price, didn't you? That's, uh, that's too bad. Okay, so then we'll go back over to Kyle. He's actually still working. He's attending the free game, and then he has the Amateur Olympics. I wonder if the rest of the family could actually do that. No, I guess you have to get that wish, because if you go up in map view, you have that, but you don't actually get... Now you don't get the, um, the, the same opportunity that he got. So that's not good. Okay, he's got his thing. This is where it's like, okay, what do you do? Everybody's taken care of. Everybody has a place to be. Um, there's really nowhere else for you to go. But I like to take this time to look around and see what else could we do. Now, why does he have three of these? Amateur Olympics, free game. Oh, okay, he's got two of the same. So there's really nothing else that we can do over here. But I do want to take one of the adults out a little bit later. I want to bring him back over on this side for just a minute. And let's see, what else do we have? We could go over here to the beach. We haven't gone into the water in a long time, and it is summer. It's our last day of summer. So what I'll probably do is I'll have Kyle, since he's already here, I'm going to have him go over to Smuggler's Cove, and then everybody else can come over here. Well, actually, maybe Kyle will just go over here for himself for a little while. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll wait and see. Okay, I think I'm actually frozen for just a moment. Let me see if it's going to come back. And if it doesn't, oh, there it goes. Okay, give me just a second. All right, well, I had to actually cancel out, which I may have to cancel out again, but um, I had to reset everybody because it was freezing, and it's still freezing. So for some reason, all my other games are fine, but my Bridgeport is really doing this. It's messing up quite a bit, and it's frustrating to me. I would hate to have to pop them out yet again into another version of Bridgeport, but if they're going to continue to be glitched like this, if it's going to continue to just freeze up, it's making it very hard to play. So let me give it just a second, see if it comes back. I'm hoping it will. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. Now, I had to actually shut the game down, and what I ended up doing is I went out and I put my mods back in just because if I'm going to have these glitches, I might as well try to do something a little different. So I'm going to have um, Josh, Elise, Ian, and Kyle go tour the theater together, and I'm just going to take them out to see if this thing is actually going to run a little bit better. But... Yeah, I used to use mods all the time, and then I stopped using them, and I kind of go back and forth. But I do notice that when I get these glitches like this, this is when I end up going right back to them. It doesn't fix everything and make it perfect, but it does make it a lot better, and it does make some things a lot smoother. So, I don't know, use them at your own risk, use them if you want, but to me, I just sometimes I find it's the only thing I can do. And hopefully this will actually fix it. Now, of course, sometimes just shutting down the game and restarting will do the same effect for me, but sometimes it won't. And the thing is, with Bridgeport, there's so many routing issues that I've noticed where sims will get stuck or people get stuck aging up that it tends to be just easier to go ahead and put your put your mods back in because it takes care of all that. As you can see, it's already recording something that it's made. It's found out something that there's a script error or something. Now, that could be the mod with an error. That could be the game. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, they're working, they're doing what it's got to do. You really see things at the end of the night when it, um, when everything starts to pile up and it starts cleaning out some of the things in the town that really shouldn't have happened. But unfortunately, it has to do that. But I do, I am glad, I'm very grateful that we have that option. All right, now, moving on. Come on, this is going to take them a little while. The nice thing about this, when they go in here and do these things, it actually builds up their relationship with each other. So you're going to notice that even though his sister, I think they're way down here, while they're in here, they are going to be building up their relationship. And there's interactions you can have over here if you wanted. If you go with a date, you can like woohoo and make out with them backstage. But obviously, since we're all family, it's not going to be anything that we would do here. Um, there's drama out here, that's for sure. Okay, guys, go ahead. And now the the tour is almost over and when they're done you can see it's actually bumping up a little bit more since it's Saturday and the, fi the festival is not going to stay I'm going to send them all back over to the festival just for a little bit of time I know we just went there and there's not a whole lot for us to do there you know, in some ways I'm kind of disappointed with the festivals because of the limited amount of stuff but I mean I'm glad they have them and I know you can always add to them which is great 
but sometimes I just feel like there just needed to be something more. Um, it kind of gets to be too repetitive. All right, is everybody out? Good deal. Everybody's out. Let me go ahead and put this on pause. We're going to take them over there. And yeah, it's something we've done, but let's go with everybody. Don't leave anybody. Okay, hopefully they're all going to take their car and they're not going to get on the subway. They should take the car since Josh brought the car. At least you would think. Very good. This way we don't have to worry about stopping and starting and we'll get there pretty quick. You would have also thought that the festival would have been a later hours here in Bridgeport due to the fact that everything else is late. But I think it still has the same regular hours. They shut down at 9 o'clock. So if you're going to come do this, you got to make sure you are not on a different sleeping pattern because most of my sims, when they're in Bridgeport, they never get up early. All right, the kids are actually going to come over here, and I think I'm going to let, since they have this time, I'm going to let them go ahead and let's play on the playground. You are going to go over here, and you're going to ride on this one. Let's turn it on. And then you can ride it. Is he going to ride that one? Oh, good. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, Josh, you're going to go eat? Yeah, you can go eat. And at least, what are you going to do? Oh, she's going to make a snow cone. All right, well, that's something that they wanted to do because they got one of their wishes taken care of. But... And these, of course, came with the seasons, but I think even in this park, they always had something for the kids. But now you just have these, which are going to stay there the whole time. And I've got the slide over there, and that all came with seasons as well. And I put these in my town and the other park as well. But this just gives them another place to go do it. Okay, Josh, you're eating. That's, that's what you got? That's not going to cover it. You're still going to... Oh, actually, it is. It is going to give you something. Okay. At least, what are you eating? <laughs> the same thing. Boring conversation and she's hungry. Okay, well that's good. You guys can still see your kids over there. Let's see, are they still playing? Well, Kyle isn't. Kyle, go ahead and swing. You're supposed to be playing on the playground. I don't know what you're going to do. And Josh, what are you working on? Oh, he's going to go over and... Did I have... I wasn't on Josh, was I? No. Josh, don't take it from your nephew. Let your nephew have it. Well, it's not for you, it's for him. There's another one. Don't be a baby. All right, she's going to go over here and she's going to do the um, the pie eating con or the hot dog eating contest. Who are you going to compete with though? Maybe you can compete with your brother. You want to enter it? Yeah, go enter it. Why not? You got nothing else to do. The kids can actually play. He's going to go ahead and climb. Unfortunately, there's not anything he can do once he's up here. He can slide down the pole, which, you know, go ahead and slide down the pole. I think you can. Can't you slide down this thing? You should be able to. No, I guess you just, he'll do it automatically. Alright, go ahead. You do what you gotta do. Slide down there. There you go. Alright, so that's fine. Um, he's kinda hungry too. Why don't you go ahead and make a snow cone and you can make the same one they made and you probably need one too. You can go ahead and buy some food. We ought to redeem the tickets, but there's really nothing we can do. You want to go roller skating? That's a plan for me. It's Friday night or Saturday night. You guys can do whatever you want to do. Okay, Josh and Elise, are you guys... Oh, wait, there's somebody else actually competing. Who is this? Barry Tenderlove. Barry. Haven't seen you the whole game. All right. Elise, he's hungry, but you know what? You might have somebody to flirt with over here. To heck with this Tristan. I don't know who Tristan is, but I do know who Barry Tinderlove is. And he'll be around in the game for a while. So, Okay, so see, there's something that with, that's caught. So obviously the, the mods have done something. So they're catching on to certain things. Well, Elise is going to win this contest, which means we're going to have spoiled hot dogs because I'm not going to remember to take them out. I'm going to tell you that right now. So when you're done, why don't you go ahead and do a charming introduction to Barry and then... We'll work on that. Um, you want a colored popsicle? No, you want something better than that. Go with... Mm, go with the pulled pork sandwich. Why not? It's summer. It's barbecue time. Okay, so we at least got this one in the bag. Okay. Alright. Come on, Barry. You're not leaving. At least it's going after you now. Alright, let's go ahead and chat. 
Let's do a get to know. Ask him about his career. I forgot what he does. Alma mater. Let's see. Um. Hmm. Let's chat some more. Get to know. Okay, poor Josh. There's nobody over here for you, buddy. I'm sorry. But she's got to work on her charisma skill, just like you do. But we don't have anybody for you to talk to. Yep, an unroutable sim. So that just shows you that it's finding mistakes, and that's what's causing most of the lag. So that's why I do like putting these mods in, just because it'll fix some of those things. If you're wondering which mod, it comes with, uh, it's under NRAS, and if you can look it up under NRAS, I think it's Wikispaces, or I'll, I'll try to put it on the link if I can remember. But it, to me, it definitely is worth it. Who is this person? Dirk Hauser, never heard of you either. All right, I want to know what Barry does. Come on, Elise, get to talking. All right, and let's find out if he's single. At least you can push it a little bit. Ask his sign, and then you can ask him if he's single. Let's see what we got. Kyle, you're getting better at skating. Okay, here's his career. Let's find out what he's doing. Now, I think he has commitment issues like every other sim that EA creates. They all make them with commitment issues. Okay, he's culinary arts. That's right. He works over at the bistro. I knew that. Well, at least you guys made it up to friends. That's good. Okay, went to the military school. Let's go ahead and speed you up a little bit. I know it's late. And, oh man, are you going to stop? Oh, she's going to have her birthday. Don't leave. Don't leave, Barry. Why don't we do this? Let's call him over. Let's have a friendly introduction. Go over there and do that. Or ask him to join. Whatever you can do. Stop the guy. So Elise is trying to... She's trying to make a date here with him, and he's leaving. Okay, there we go. She's now a fully mature adult. Oh, Elise, that hair is going to have to be... We're going to have to take care of that. All right, where did Barry go? Oh, Barry went over here to eat. Oh, she's having a midlife crisis. Great. Just what I figured. Of course, we've already gone through all the other crazy stuff. Go ahead and ask his sign, and then ask him if he's single. Romantic, where are you? Ask if single. Is that our picnic basket? Because I know we left ours, but... <laughs> or did we? I thought we did. I thought we did. Let me see if Josh picked it up. Yeah, Josh caught it. So, no, we didn't leave it. I thought we left it, but maybe it just automatically when you leave the lot, it'll go ahead and let you know, or um, it'll go ahead and put it in there for you. All right. Let's see what his sign is. She's having a midlife crisis. Alright. Leave your mom alone. He's an Aquarius. Does that have anything? Oh, they're compatible. Why don't you compliment his appearance and compliment his personality? Oh, he's got a partner. Okay, well... Okay, well, keep this thing going. Keep it nice and keep it friendly. Ask him about his day. Be funny. Now, if you tell a joke about cooking, would that be bad? Would he get, would he get upset about that? Okay, let's see. Get to know him some more. We're just going to push this. You know, she had somebody be a home wrecker to her. She might as well do the same. I know that doesn't make her any any better. What do the kids do? The kids are going home. They're like, Mom, we're gonna go. We want to go home. All right. Well, that's okay. Speaking of which, I'd like to know what happened to the rest of them. All right, you guys are pushing it. Let's see if we can actually be a little bit, a little bit bold here. Let's see. I don't know. He may not go for it since he's already partnered with somebody. Yeah. We know he's in a relationship with Brandy, but that's okay. She needs five friends and ten relationships to advance. Well, we're going to work on that. Yeah, I don't want to push anything else because I I don't know if he's, um, he's going to actually do this or not. He probably won't. 
he'll reject her, and then she'll have that horrible moodlet. Let's see, what does she want to do? She wants to move. Oh, we don't. We just moved. All right, let's see what he does. No, he didn't like that. Oh man. All right, so let's see. No, we can't do those. Let's be funny. Let's make a silly face. Chat. Okay. Get to know. We're gonna have to push this thing if we really want to do this. Um. Let's see. Tell him a story. Let's see. I think once you get to like best friend status and whatnot, then it can actually push him over. Um. Chat. But yeah, he he's kind of a hard one to get. I don't want to tell a ghost story. But you can do it. Alright. Keep working on him. Keep working on him. He's a good friend. Okay, well this is helping, but I'm sure she's exhausted. She's probably starving. Oh no, she's about to pass out. Okay. Josh, you can go home. We're going to try flirting one time before we leave. And I'm going to go ahead and disband the group. Let's see if a good friend actually will go for it. He probably won't. There we go. Alright. Go ahead and flirtatious joke. Oh, he's going to leave. Alright, that's fine. You need to go home too. Alright, you guys have done enough. All right, well, so we got a potential love interest for our um, for Elise, who has aged up, and we've got to get that hair taken care of. It's a little bit too much for me. Um, I kind of like the hair she was in, and I also want to change up her clothes since uh, she's changed ages, and now it's time to give her a different look. Don't know what we're going to give her, but I'll do it hopefully at the beginning of the next episode. Which brings me to the point where I'm actually past my time. I'm going to go ahead and stop my episode here, and when we come back, we'll work on pursuing... Um, Elise's boyfriend Barry and we'll get Elise all set up and changed. Wow. Wow. There's something about twins and that's just a little bit too much. You guys could not get any closer. That is too funny. So see, mods don't fix everything. They do some, but they don't fix it all. Alright, so anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.